This booth is 30% off. I like that. I always like a, I always like a nice sale. Oh my gosh. Look at the sea turtles. I saw the sea turtles. Oh, those are pretty. They are bronze. Are they mounted to that table? They yeah. might be. They are. They are part of the table. Well, they're only like $5,000. Should we get it? Look at this cute little Apple phone. The original Apple phone. Just saying. We have another little injured bird. So we are here at the vets. We go to Aloha Animal Hospital and we're gonna see if they can get him fixed up. So Rachel's very sad because, you know, he's gotta go through a lot now. He's gotta get blood work done and get an x-ray and parakeets are a little tender. So they're gonna take good care of him. They know the whole scoop of, you know, what we found. So now we just wait, we just wait. And that is the hardest part. Well, we are down near my old antique mall. So I thought that Rachel and I would just keep our minds off things by going in and doing a little shopping. Plus, I do need to find some nice pottery and glass pieces for my upcoming whatnot sale. So that is our quest. Rachel's gonna help me and we're gonna find some beautiful items to put in the next Whatnot sale. If you are not on Whatnot yet, I highly, highly recommend you come on over. I have put a link down in the description. I'll also put it up here, although you can't click this one, but you can, you can write it down <laughs> and then you'll have that link. And go over and get $15 to spend over on whatnot hope you'll be at my sale it'll be saturday at 7 p.m pacific time and uh, we have a lot of fun all right with that we're gonna get inside do a little shopping let's get shop done all right we're going in let's go see what we can find hello all right so many beautiful things where do we start at the couch at the cows, these cows, yeah. they're cute cows. They're newer though, but that's pretty glass. That probably glows. Yep, it's got some glow. It's got some pretty glow to it. Yeah. It is $95. Ooh. That would not leave us nearly enough meat on the bone, would it? All right, let's get to some booths that I know will have some really super prices for us. This booth is 30% off. I like that. I always like a, I always like a nice sale. Oh, look how cute he is. He's Fitz and Floyd. Yeah, he is. Look at that. So that would make him like $21 little more than we can spend but that's what's going to happen at an antique mall so you have to look for those hidden treasures you have to look for the really really good sales oh let's see what this is this looks like fused glass this is 25. What's fused glass? so it's where they take glass and they put other pieces of glass they fuse it together and make a design it's pretty. I just don't know if it's pretty enough. I think this booth pretty much is always running a sale and so they price knowing that they're running that sale. That is a cute little kitty, for sure. Yeah, let's, let's go find some other booths. Look at this pretty little piece. It's mounted on a brass stand and it's painted with a little kitty cat. Oh, there's 30% off in this booth. I, can you help me with that tag and turn it over? So here we go. So it's basically $24. It's a 
Fene. Oh, feline. <laughs> I was trying to make something fancy out of that. Feline. Um, fluted dish with pedestal. $24. That's really, it's really unique. We don't know who makes it, but we do know it's probably Victorian. Now, I, I suspect somebody painted this later, and this painting isn't original to the piece, because this looks more of more like a, like a bride's basket. Uh, but $24 minus 30% makes it like $15. And with that, I think I can make some money. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that piece. Oh my gosh. Look at the sea turtles. I saw the sea turtles. Oh, they're pretty. They are bronze. Are they mounted to that table? They yeah. might be. They are. They are part of the table. Well, they're only like... $5,000. Should we get it? No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. She, she nodded yes. That's kind of a fun display. <clears throat> I see a uh, Jack Skellington. I wonder if these are for sale. Yeah, they all have price tags on them. Look at the gnome. How much are you, Jack? I don't see a price on Jack. I see a price on this guy. 85 Doesn't really go with our theme though, does it? Doesn't go with our theme. Ah, I get to settle something from my last video where I said that Joseph was missing his little crook. And I was told, no, he was not a shepherd, he was a carpenter. Well, look, look, Joseph carries, I don't know if it, it's probably not meant for sheep herding, but he does carry a stick with a bendy at the top. So, yes. That's a cute little piece. I think this is, yeah, this is that Holland. Just says hand-painted Holland. Um, sometimes it has another name on it, which I'm not thinking of right now. Or maybe it doesn't. It's kind of pretty. You know I like the blue. I just like the blue. I'm trying to stay away from ashtrays, though, because ashtrays are not really a, a heavy hitter right now. Look at these pretty guys. Those are really nice. I think 60 is a good price, but not something we can really be dealing with. Oh, it's 30% off though, 30% off. Oh, this little, you know what he's for? He's to keep drafts out. Oh, you're looking at this one. You're looking at the Fitz and Floyd. He is pretty. He's cute too. I thought you were looking at the draft keeper that you put in front of your door and then you make sure that the cold air doesn't come in. Oh, look at the little, they call this a dolphin. It's a fish. We know it's a fish, but a gravy pot. That's really kind of cool. It's 25, but it's 30% off. I don't know why they do that. This again would only be like 14, 15 bucks, and it's a really super cool piece. I think I'm gonna grab that one too. I see some really pretty little pieces of pottery. Seven dollars, but it's 30% off. Anything over 10, so this would not be 30% off, but look at that, it's Italian. I think seven is okay. There's one, and there's two. We will grab both of those and put them in Saturday's Whatnot Sale. What a pretty piece of furniture, that one right there. I like it, 50% off. This whole booth is 50% off everything unless it's marked firm, so we will definitely take a peek. Does that say firm? That's a um, max Maxfield Parish. I'm trying to see if that says firm. Does that say firm or? I don't know. I don't know. Not that I would buy it anyway, but I was just trying to figure out. Just showing you guys what, what my hesitation was, what was going on in my brain. Oh. Do you have anything else up there? Not yet. This Not is our yet. start. Okay. Let's see.
pretty little piece of hobnail blue opalescent. All right, Rachel, you lucked out. You didn't have to carry it up front. Hmm. All right, let's keep going. Well, that's a pretty little dish. Look, it's meant it lays flat, and this is like a little handle, but like a little serving dish in the shape of a flower. I like it. Is this your favorite kind of blue glass? It is blue opalescent. You are correct. That is probably the biggest Sasha Brastoff plate platter I think I've seen. I like that plate. It's pretty spectacular. Yeah, with the horse on it. Of course you like that plate. <laughs> that is nice. I see a cat under here that's caught my eye. He's cool. They don't know who he is. Can you handle that with two hands and show me the bottom? He is not marked. He's not marked. Okay. Well, that doesn't help us, does it? Well, that is glass. Bartlett Collins cookie jar with a cute little gingerbread guy on there. Oh, look at these little $5 amber glass bottles. Kind of like those. I'm looking for pottery. I've got glass still. Kind of looking for the mix with with pottery too. Okay. Look at this basket. I bet that's like Arthur Court. I got the grapevine though. How spectacular is that? I like the antlers. It's only, I know you like the antlers. But if you could, could you remove those antlers and then I could look at the bottom of this and see who makes it. Those antlers are pretty. I don't think they're real antlers. They might. No, it says faux. They're faux. Faux. Just a nice way of saying fake. Let's see, are you? Nope. I bet that had a Made in India sticker right there. No. Why India? Because uh, they make a lot of this metal work in India. Uh, it's probably yeah. aluminum. That's what it seems like. There's a camel behind it. And there's a camel behind it. <laughs> All right, you can put those back in there. Okay. All righty. Okay. I wasn't, I just thought Wait, I no, no, she was, was she was just holding the antlers while I looked at the bottom of the, uh, the oh, thingamajig okay. there. Okay. And I'm sure we'll find more, though. Okay, and if you see anything in, in number 62, it's the end booth, you can have 20% off. Oh, thank okay. you. All right. All right. You're Look at this little flower sifter with the Santa. A little assemblage. That's what they call those. Oh, assemblage. A flower sifter, you put your flour in there and then you sift it onto, I don't know. I don't cook. You're asking me? You're asking me to explain a cooking thing? Noah cooks and he wouldn't know. He doesn't bake. Noah cooks, he doesn't bake. I bake and I don't know. <laughs> We're all sunk then. We're all sunk. Birdies. There's a beautiful piece of... Mom's ignoring the beautiful birdies. I see the birdies. Oh, I just bought a whole, whole bunch of birdies coming for our tree. Yes, those are cute birdies, but I'm looking at the pink opalescent vase here for 30. I wish it wasn't 30 though. Wish it wasn't 30. Yeah, he doesn't super excite me. I see some pretty glass over in this window. It's a pair. They're calling them watercolor glass candle holders. Those are gorgeous. I think these are Czech glass. I, I say that because of this, you know, the little hole in the bottom, like that's one of the styles. It looks like a controlled bubble, but it's really not. It's just the um, kind of the optical illusion that that hole in the bottom going up into the glass makes for a little dimension in it. $25. Those I are, like I like them too. I really do like those too. It's, I don't know, it's risky for me to spend that much and then, you know, do my two dollar starts over and whatnot, but I think I think my glass people might uh, take care of me on this one. So I think we're gonna get those too. The vase behind it is not as good of quality. It's not bad. It's just not as good. Like I don't think it's Chinese glass, but I don't. 
I don't think it's not this one. This is Chinese glass. See the different, like see the quality different. I know it's hard with the sun shining right there. It's just, yeah, it's not, not the same. It's pretty. It's just not the same. That's a pretty vase. All right. Let's keep on the hunt. How about him, Rach? How about I him? Like him. <laughs> He's really cute. He's a oh, it's a sur la table. He's such a funny guy. He is funny. He is chipped also. Is he a watering pot? Or? He's just a pitcher. Yeah, he's a pitcher. He's just a fun pitcher. Ooh, look at this Jack in the Pulpit wood turned vase. That's interesting. Looks like some interesting pieces in here. This first piece of pottery caught my eye here. It's like a piece of art pottery with a pour on it. J. Pele. J. Pele. It is 25 though. Can't do that. That's a pretty piece. It's a Hager. It's Royal Hager for 45. Okay. Oh. Look at this little box down here. Little girl blowing blowing bubbles. Pretty amber glass piece. Viking. 38. I mean, it's a little tougher to find things for resale in an antique mall, that's for sure. Don't you like these little mites? I do. I do like the Annalise, but I'm really, really focused on glass and pottery this time. Do gotta like glass grapes? Gotta stay focused. I might. And Set of two grapes. amber candle holders. Those are really nice. They're, they're unusual. You don't normally see things that shape. And in a pair. That is Murano. Hmm. Yep. We just we have to keep finding the booths where we're going to be able to get our good deals. Oh, we do have some loud music playing, but this booth is 50% off, so we definitely need to take a peek. I wish that was an Avon. But it is. This little piece right here would only be $10. It is depression glass and it is etched with a little flower design. And I think we're gonna go ahead and grab that for our whatnot sale. And then I spotted this little bowl and tray set. So it would only be $5.50 for the four piece set with these little blossoms on it. They are signed. So I am gonna grab that. This booth has some really good pricing going on. So we're gonna take a peek through here. A lot of clear glass. But I see some other things over in the case. But look at this. I need another hand. It says it is hand blown. Okay, stand by. I gotta set stuff down so I can see this. See the little um, little hand-blown sticker in there? There it is. I'm trying to figure out, I don't think it would, it doesn't have a lip, so it wouldn't have had a lid. It's only $6 for this dusky blue, kind of a beaded hobnail kind of dish. I think I'm gonna grab that. I see, pretty little shell dish in here. Let's look at this. Ooh, that one. That one is 40. Was not expecting that after seeing all those really good prices. Let's see what the depression glass, okay. So the stuff in the case is a little higher priced. Not quite as good of a deal. I see some little lovebirds. Those are cute. $10, they're salt and peppers. Let's see if Rachel sees them. And we got some more big cases over here. Amberina. Yeah, these are these are priced antique mall price. But we did. I think we snagged some good deals. Oh, 
one's not bad. That one's only 10. What are these guys? No, no. Little cornucopia planters. Oh, not priced. And I think this is also their booth over here. Little pumpkin candle holders. Of course you see a horsey. Of course you do. You don't miss a horse, do you? Nope. nope. <laughs> yeah, I see that. I'm not a fan of the snake. I'm not a fan of the snake. Ooh, love music. Look at this pixie planter. Oh, yeah, somebody's been putting their trash in there. People, come on. 12 bucks. There's some writing down on the bottom there. He's pretty fantastic. Definitely vintage. He's in great shape. So I think for 12 bucks, we're going to pick him up. Yeah, I knew you were going to spot that. <laughs> it is a quarry critters. How much is she? $14.99? You want to, you want to stocking stuffer early? Yeah. Okay. Let's see what else we can find in here. 15. I think that's a, a Duncan Miller pattern. That one there. Oh, look at the big froggy. He's 25. We have some bear ones. I saw the bears. I did. I saw the bears, but they're 25. And that's about what I would sell them for. Oh, goodness. All this old Tupperware. Brings back memories. It's good stuff, though. It's very good stuff. Uh, let's see. Oh, look at this little Snoopy dish. He's 12, though. And I don't think he's vintage. There's a lot of uh, more contemporary Snoopy stuff out there now. Look at this kangaroo guy. What? Is he a bottle holder? Is he a wine bottle holder? I think he might be. He's kind of cool. Ooh. There's an interesting tiki mug. Designed by Mara Maro Mexico. It is $18. There she found a frog. We don't need the frog. We don't need the frog. This is this is kind of cool. This is kind of cool. I, I might take a minute to look that one up. Well, I did a little little peeking and I cannot find this maker anywhere. This just very, very high quality piece. That's why I'm getting from it. So I think we're going to pick this up for, what was it? Is that an 18 or a 10? Goodness. Come on, tag. 18. Yeah. I'm going to give it a try. All right. The otter is pretty stinking cute. His name is Oscar. He doesn't have a price. He doesn't have a price. I suspect he's about the same price as the other ones, though. Otherwise, I would ask, but I'm pretty sure he's going to be priced the same as the other larger ones that she has in this booth. Oh, I do love me some Big Al. Yes, indeed. All right. Oh, this is one of the uh, Quarry Critter kids. They don't, they don't do as well. Sadly. All right, we got to find somebody to take our pile up. So weird to see my old booth. Somebody's moving into it. Ooh, look at the hat. How pretty. All these flying geese. Oh, I like it. I don't like it $800 worth, but I like it. <laughs> oh, those are, that's, um, um, a blah, blah, blah. Pear, pear, pear. Why can't I think of the name? Perry. Gosh. John Perry. That's it. He uses this really special material. His things are very distinct. $45. Uh, I don't, you don't see too many of them in the flamingos. He does whales and dolphins and, and seagulls. And... Oh, more glowy glass. More glowy glass. Oh, look at this Moroccan lamp. Yeah. Look at 
Very pretty. Very pretty things in this booth. But, again, not a bargain booth. We gotta go find another bargain booth. Ah, oh, we got a whole bunch of paperweights here. That one's cool. The butterfly in the middle. Dolphins swimming. Nothing too fantastic though. Look at that. Look at this snowman inside of this one. Why do I like that one like the best? <laughs> yeah. Not a price we can resale on. This booth has a really, really nice feel. Kind of a rustic, primitive, country. I just like it. I just like, I just like the vibes it's given off. Indeed. Look at these little, look at these little Santa lights. How cute are they? How cute are they? Look at these fantastic glass ornaments. Look at this strawberry. They're only like one or two dollars each. Look at that, two dollars. And it's got the little frosted on the top. Little Santas, they're only two dollars. I'll make an exception and get a clown. One dollar, one dollar. I think I'm gonna buy the whole kit and caboodle of these. I'm just gonna take this whole thing up to the register. That's a pretty piece of pottery. Twelve dollars, who makes you? I don't know. I wish it was a little heavier. It's not very heavy. I was looking at for it to have a little more substance to it. Rachel's over here finding a little. Is that a duck? Or, a duck or a loon? It says Ducky. duck for ten dollars. That's kind of cute. Let's see what else is in this booth? A lot of Asian themed items. Nothing's really calling me. Oh, look at these. I have a bunch of these somewhere. I need to get them out and put them on the walls now at the new store. Now that I could display them properly. I do love them. I'm just calling them yarn paintings, but aren't they... Are they molas? Is that what you call them? I don't know. They're beautiful, though. That's a loon, right? The loon has the little spotted back. Looks like a duck, but it's not. It's a loon. This little guy. It's a little stone duck. Made for Hess Hesses. He's only five dollars. I think we'll get him. I certainly can't leave his friend behind either. He is the same maker. So we'll grab both of the little stone ducks for five dollars each. That is a really cool sofa. Really cool. Alright, got empty booths up here. But this is another favorite booth where I usually find some good things at really good prices. So we are going to scope around here. See, like, what are these guys? Puppets. They're all little puppets. I have my hands full of ducks, so... Uh, I have to find a place to set down my my ducks. <laughs> I need to put all my ducks in a row. And then I can shop. <laughs> Rachel totally is like, why was that funny? I don't even get it. Oh, I see something that Rachel's going to spot here in a second. She's going to spot it. Did you, did you spot it? Yes. Little beaded parrot. How much is he? I don't know. His tail's too long. It doesn't over by twenty-four. Oh, okay. We that's, can't. That's quite a bit. We can't. We can't. I look at that bowl. I think every time I'm here, it's just a little bit more than we can pay. Look at that the little quartz. Oh, it's Lassie and goggles. Boogie. Oh, you never watched Lassie, Sorry. did you? Do you know who Lassie is? Nope. You have no idea who Lassie is. Oh, that's a travesty. I have to introduce you to Lassie. It's a it's a basket of starfish and jacks that met their demise. <laughs> I'm cool. 
Poor little, says, yeah. poor little jacks. <laughs> these were big ones, though. These were probably like out of the ocean. And then different kinds of starfish. Ah, oh, that's so sad. So sad. I'm over here looking at glowy glass that is displayed in black lights, which just makes it so amazing. Look how gorgeous that is. Ugh. Oh. Beautiful. It is a glowy glass bird. Cute salt and peppers. Are those donkeys? I like the zebras. Oh, you like the zebras? How much are you, zebras? Twelve. Twelve's a good price. Just cute. not a price that we can make money with. That's yeah, okay. Are they little goats? I do think those are little goats. Boy, got a little sale going on here, so we gotta scope it out, see if there's anything here that would be good for my whatnot sale, but I'm really not seeing too much here that people would want to grab up. Look at that old little guy. Goodness. Is he a donkey? He is a donkey. He's got little rubber feet. Wow. I bet somebody will remember having him when they were young. This is so cute. I have often found individual ones of these, but never like the whole little set in the holder. That's pretty fantastic. They're asking 25. I feel like that's a good price, but not one that we can use to make money, but that is pretty cool. I love when I find something new I haven't seen before. Look at this jellyfish. They're calling it Murano. I'm not so sure it's Murano. I mean, I guess, eh, nope, cloudy. See, this would be the bottom if it were a bowl, and that is cloudy. So that is not Murano. It's Murano style, but it's pretty fabulous nonetheless. Look at this little guy. He is a dragonfly, and the thing says that he glows. Ooh, he does glow. He is a glowing dragonfly. I'm not sure how that's coming through on video, but trust me, he's a glower. He's only six dollars, so we're gonna take him and put oh, him in our keeps pile. His glow when you take the black light a off. little bit, a little bit. Look at this cute little Apple phone. The original Apple phone. Just saying. Okay, we have not gotten a message yet from the vet's office, but we're about done shopping, so we're gonna go check out. The update is not good. Our our poor little sky did not make it, and I have a very very heartbroken little girl. And now, now we're waiting to find out what it was. Um, so they're sending you know some some samples to the lab to see was it viral, was it bacterial, was it just? They said they can't do a necropsy because he's too small. I don't buy that. They do it all the time on all kinds of things. 
but um, but now I'm a little I'm a little nervous to find out what what this was because you know we have a large flock of birds um, so I guess we're still kind of in a, a holding waiting pattern to find that out and in the meantime we've got some broken hearts to heal um, we got Sky along with his brother JJ JJ and Sky came together as a rescue um, about four four years ago we've had them for about four years and so that would make them six or seven years old I think they were like two or three when we got them so they're not youngsters but they certainly were not seniors yet um well and, and we still got JJ's doing fine JJ's fine um probably missing his brother but so it's all it's all just such a puzzle anyway and that's my sad update on the birdie I didn't want to leave you guys hanging wondering what had happened and so with that go be profitable and make it fun even when things are not so fun all right